Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about the recently conducted CSINET Life Science Examination, the CSINET Life Science June 2025 exam, which is conducted on 28th of July. Okay, and we'll be talking about two different aspects here in this particular video. First of all, I'll talk about the type and pattern of the exam that is just conducted based on the student feedback of my batch and also the students of my YouTube channel. Uh, they reported me about the difficulty level of the questions and the pattern of the questions that they uh, that they have found in the examination. We'll talk about that in the first part of the video. In the second part of the video, I'll be talking about the expected cutoff of this CSIN Net Life Science June 2025. And this time, after almost a, a five years gap, CSI is going to declare the cutoff in percentage because the exam is conducted in only one shift. Right, we've been uh, like shouting about this for a long time, and this time they'll be declaring it in percentage value. So I'll be declaring the cutoff in percentage for GRF Junior Research Fellowship for lectureship, that is for assistant professor job and PhD only category. Okay, so that will be the second part of the video. So let's start with the the question type in here. The very first thing is how was the exam? The overall uh, statement from the students that I gather from the YouTube comments and as well as uh, talking to the students of my own batch, the exam difficulty level to them is moderate to difficult. Most of the people tilted toward difficult timeline or difficult way. They thought the question paper is really difficult compared to the last two, three question papers, especially in part C. Although many reported that part A and B was quite easy, they are straightforward, but part C questions are lengthier and quite difficult compared to the last few CS100 question papers. So the section wise breakdown, if I, if I tell you part A easy to moderate, part B was to some is moderate to difficult, but it's doable if you can remember because these are memory based questions. So if you remember, you can answer them. But part C was difficult and cited as the toughest of all the three different parts that is part A, B and C. Okay. Part A surprisingly was easy this time reported by many students. Key topics asked are majority of the topics as they said are from plant physiology. So the students from plant physiology background, botany background had an extra edge. That's what they say. Next is the developmental biology and techniques questions are also in there. And also the developmental biology questions are leaning towards plant development uh, as well as the animal development. Genetics, evolution, molecular biology all are sprinkled through the questions. While uh, unit 4 that is cell signaling part of the chapters and unit 2 cell biology direct questions are kind of missing from the whole question paper. That's what is being reported. Now the student uh, takeaways from here is the paper was lengthier compared to the previous sessions, especially the part C paper was lengthier. So it took much, much time, more time for them to complete the part C. So if somebody started with part C, part C consumed a lot of time uh, they, that squeezed through the time and crunches the time for part A and B. That's what happened to many people and they ultimately end up in answering less number of questions. The time management was a big challenge this time and uh, the high value application uh, questions are out there. The application based or experiment based questions are present in very high percentage. And in part C also there is an equal balance between this experiment based and some part of the memory together to make it little complicated. Part A and B was quite straightforward and comparatively easier to conclude and attend compared to the part C. That's what is maintained that's what is uh, told by my students. Now uh, this is subject to change for different people. Different people have different interpretation of the exam, but that's what majorly said from my coaching institute as well as from my subscriber base. So if you are agreed to the exam takeaways, then uh, write that in the comment section. If you are not agreeing with it, please write that. What do you think about the exam? Which part was difficult according to you? Which part was easy difficult to you? Please mention that in the comment section. I'd like to know. I haven't gone through the whole question paper yet, but I'll make a detailed analysis video later on when I go through the question paper. But based on this analysis, it is quite accurate because I've been doing it for some sessions. So it's, I find this really important because wisdom of crowd plays in where students from dis different disciplines, they, they report me and based on that, we can formulate uh, the overall tone of the exam. And this is the overall tone of the exam. One important fact that I want to share is that this time many people missed the exam. 
in fact i think will be there are more people miss the exam compared to the last time because first of all many people did not even attend the exam at the at the first point and second thing is that uh, this is a high monsoon time so that caused delay and delay caused the exam for many students like the exam gates were closed at 8:30 am in the morning and people if they reached by 8:31 am they closed the gate and they never let in uh, those students enter that uh, Uh, centers and that happened to many people and in the csr net uh, exam malpractices i'm going to make a separate video on that the problem that the students faced they already reported as the problem but i need some time to go through them and gather all the proofs and make a video on that so it will take some time i'll definitely make a video on that but for now this caused many students not to get to the exam so number of students attending the exam is quite low compared to the form fill up you will also see that while csr will release the data so that's the first part of the exam how was the exam what is the difficulty level it's clear now we are going to talk about the cut off of expected cut off for the june csr net life science examination june 2025 csr net life science question paper by checking the total exam tone and considering the fact of the 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 result will be declared and the cut off will be declared by percentage this is the list that i found is going to be this is my personal opinion and this has no relationship to the real cut off of this csr net so wait for the real cut off but this is my personal opinion on the cut off of grf junior research fellowship and lectureship and phd only category so first of all for junior research fellowship we have uh, the unreserved ur means unreserved category ews economically backward obc sc st and pwd categories and here for unreserved category we will go with 54% for the unreserved category it's 54% so out of 200 the mark is 108 108 marks ews category 47% so that is 94 marks ow uh, obc category is 45% or 90 marks out of 200 sc category 38% or 76 uh, marks st 33% or 66 marks pwd is 27% or what you can say as 54 marks category that is going to be the cut off considering the fact of the exam paper is tough but i rely on the exam paper quality based on the students feedback i need to check the question paper once i check the question paper if i feel the cut off might change then i'll make another video on that too okay next is the lectureship or assistant professor position cut off or ls cut off unreserved category 49% that means uh, it is 98 marks ews category 45% that is 90 marks ow uh, obc category 43% or 86 marks sc category 36% or 72 marks st category 31% or 62 marks and pwd category is 25% or 50 marks that's the overall idea so 54 108 so i'll say 108 to 110 is the cut off for the grf if the paper is really tough and 100 marks is the cut off for lectureship for unreserved category if the paper is really tough so i actually put it 10 marks down considering the fact the exam was difficult right if the exam is not that difficult and many people can qualify then the cut off might increase a little bit okay so that's my take on the cut off now for phd only category and reserved category will be 52% or 104 marks ews 42% or uh, 84 marks so obc category 40% or 80 marks sc category 34% or 68 marks st category 29% 58 marks to 60 marks pwd category 26% or you can say 52 marks now these are the values again i repeatedly am saying that these values will only stand still and true if the exam was really difficult and as per the reported type right because if all felt difficult then generally the cut off goes down and that's what i put it otherwise after seeing the question paper if i think the cut off is going to change a little bit i'm also going to make a video on that okay so that's all regarding the exam type uh, for this june 2025 and the cut off for the june 2025 examination for csn and life science which is conducted on 28th july 2025 i believe you have a clear idea about it and if you have any doubts you mention that in the comment section and this time if you failed and if you want a professional help if you want guidance from the coaching from us then join our coaching 
and we are taking the the 20 candidates after the NET exam. We always keep the door for 20 candidates, and five candidates already done in one day. So we'll continue with it. Probably within a week, it'll be filled up. So you can contact us in the given number that is there in this video 9804654228, or contact us directly to the what uh, WhatsApp, or contact us and visit the website www.shomuzbalaji.com. And you can also download Shomuz Biology application and get the details on the coaching by directly contacting us over call or WhatsApp in this given number. See you there and if there is any change from my point of view then I will update you. Okay, And obviously stay tuned because I will be updating the video regarding the CSR NET exam malpractices very soon. See you there.